Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's The Joker's Wild. And now, here's your host, the star of The Joker's Wild, Brandon Scrub. Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of The Joker's Wild right here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you with us aboard on this one. Uh, we're actually filming this episode on Memorial Day, so we'd like to take a moment here from Joker's Wild and just honor those that made the ultimate sacrifice for this country for all us to do things like this and have some fun with you guys on YouTube. So on this day, we'd like to honor and remember those who gave their lives for this country on this fine Memorial Day. And with that said, thank, thank you for tuning in for another great episode. We got two contestants here ready to... Attack the reels, see if they can take down some cash and prizes. So let's meet our players now. First, introducing the challenger for this game is Mr. Justin Noyes. And our returning champion, who's six win, cash and prizes now total $267,848. It's Eric Lima. Hello there, everyone. I'm glad to have you fellas back with us again. Eric, you've actually amassed a pretty good total so far this time around. Well, I, you know, I've been having a lot of luck and a lot of knowledge, and hopefully I can do it again. Well, best of luck to you. You've got, you've got a very game opponent here who's ready to make his stand on the leaderboard real soon. Are you ready to see if you can win this one, Justin? Ready. All right, well, best of luck to both of you. Again, this is the Joker's Wild. For those of you who don't know how to play, we're tr we've got categories up on the reels here. Um, every time a category appears in the window, it's worth $500 added to their total. If it appears in two of the windows, it gives you $1,000. If it appears in all three windows, in our natural triple, you get $2,000 plus a bonus prize. I also have some Jokers up there. Of course, they're wild. They can be used for anything. For your objective is to pick a category, answer the question correctly, you earn the money for it. First player to get to $5,000 in proper turn wins the game and goes on to our Face the Devil round where they can earn even more cash prizes and possibly a brand new car. So with that said, good luck to both of you. Let's take a look at the categories that we'll be using in this first game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have Economics, Entertainment, Events, the Arts, True or False, and finally, we finish with some general knowledge. All right, once again, in the true or false category, players, I will read you a statement. You must answer, tell me if the correct if that statement is true or false. If you're right, you get the money. However, if you're incorrect, your opponent gets the money. All right. With that said, let's unlock the reels for our players. And as always, the challenger starts first. So, Justin, when you're ready, give it a spin. Let's play the Joker's Wild. Hey, here we go. The Arts, a Joker, and a Triple. That's a lead out there. All right, $2,000 for the Arts. All right, claim the Arts for $2,000 using all three of them. Here comes your Arts question. All right, for $2,000, here it is. All right, Justin, on tour for their 50th anniversary, what band hired California Saga, a vocal group of their own offspring, as their opening act? Again, on tour for their 50th anniversary, what band hired California Saga, a vocal group of their own offspring, as their opening act? For $2,000, name the band. Kiss? What was that? Kiss? No, I'm sorry, it's not Kiss. Eric, you know it, you can pick up 2000 on this one. Hmm, is it The Grateful Dead? No, I'm sorry, it's not The Grateful Dead. Uh, believe it or not, California Saga is a, is a cover or tribute band of the classic group The Beach Boys. The Beach Boys. Oh, I was thinking of them. Oh, man. Yeah eight, yeah, eight members of the group sing covers of their of the uh, Beach Boys' distinctive surfing sound. So, yes. All right, so no money there. 
Champ, it's your spin. All right, let's get some jokers out of this one. Joker, true false, and economics. Ooh, or 1,000, please. What was that? Economics or economics, as you were saying. Okay, <laughs> okay economics for $1,000. Here comes your economics question. All right, Eric. Watching in 1846, what is the name of the of the famous boat that that gives people tours of Niagara Falls? Again, and watching in 1846, what's the name of the boat that takes passengers by Niagara Falls? Uh, SS Niagara Falls. No, I'm sorry, it's not it's not the SS Niagara Falls, although that would make a perfect same name for it. Justin, do you know it for a thousand? No no. No, I'm sorry, that's not it either. The name of the boat is actually called the Maid of the Mist. It's called the Maid of the oh. Mist. Alright, no money on the board yet, so Justin, spin again. <laughs> Economics, sure or false. And the arts. Ooh. True or false for 500. Okay, true or false again. Get it right, you get 500. Get it wrong, unfortunately. Eric gets the 500. Here's your true or false statement. There are more than 300 yes. countries in the world. Again, I repeat, there are more than 300 countries in the world. Is that statement true or false? That's false. Yeah, there is a grand total of 206 countries. You're right. You get the money. Wow. Good job. And Justin strikes first with $500. <laughs> Joker. The arts. And a Joker. The arts again, even though I failed in that one, for $2,000. Do you want to shut at the arts? Here comes your arts question for $2,000. All right, Eric. What college dropout? What college dropout rapper teamed up with Usher for the R&B crooner's promo tour of his Confessions album in 2004? Again, what college dropout rapper teamed up with Usher for the R&B crooner's promo tour of his Confessions album in 2004? For $2,000, name the rapper. Jay Z. Good answer, but that's not it. Justin, mm. do you know it for two thousand? Eminem. No, I'm sorry, it's not Eminem. Uh, the college dropout. It was actually the name of his album at the time, and the uh, rapper we were looking for is Kanye West. It was Kanye West. Oh, oh boy! Oh, All right, so score still five hundred to nothing. Justin, you're spit. Kim Kardashian. Sure, false. Joker and a triple. I'm going to risk it. True or false for two grand. All right, $2,000. Here comes your true or false statement. All snakes are venomous. All snakes are venomous. False. That is correct. It is false. You get the money. Yes. That was a good one. It's, uh, yeah, the boa constrictor is one example of a non-venomous snake. Ash, it kills you by strangling its prey. All right, 2500 to nothing. Eric, you're behind. you got to get a big spin here. Yeah, I'm not come back like this. Joker, true or false, and a joker. True or false for 2000 All right. What's good for the goose is good for the ganders. Here, here's your true or false statement for 2000 <laughs> Eric, Siamese cats always have blue eyes. And Siamese cats always have blue eyes. That's false, man. No, I'm sorry. It what? is actually oh. true. Just oh. against the money. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> you right. got no money, Eric. Forty-five hundred to a th to nothing. Unfortunately, Justin, <laughs> your spin. It's not over yet, though. General knowledge, economics. And the arts. 
I want to try some general knowledge for 500. All right, get this question correct under general knowledge. It will give you, it will give you five. It will give you a total of five thousand dollars, enough to win the game. However, the champion will get one more turn. Miss it, and Eric's has a chance to stay alive in this one. Here is your general knowledge question. Justin, what long-range U.S. Air Force bomber had a hairstyle, a new wave rock band, and a cocktail named after it? Again, what long-range U.S. Air Force bomber had a hairstyle, a new wave rock band, and a cocktail named after it? For $500 and possibly the game, name it. The Mohawk? No, I'm sorry. It is not the Mohawk. Eric, you can get $500 and get on the board if you know the answer. B-52. Yes, the B-52 is right. You got it. Ah, uh, finally, no shutout. All uh. right, you're on the board with 500 It's your spin. All right, I don't think need you. Events. Events. Economics. Ooh. Oh. Almost got the net bonus prize for the natural triple spin. Events for 1000 please. Going with events for $1,000. Again, uh, get this correction correctly. It'll give you $1,500. Miss it, and Justin gets it. It'll give him $5,500 in proper turn, enough to win the game. So here comes your events question. All right, Eric. Which New Yorker, who was mayor at the time, was honored as Time Magazine's 2001 Person of the Year, was also made a Knight Commander for the British Empire that same year? Again, which, for, which New Yorker, former mayor, was honored as Time Magazine's 2001 Person of the Year, was also made Knight Commander for the British Empire that same year? For $1,000 and stay alive, name him. Rudy Giuliani. That is the person we're looking for. You got it. $1,000. Uh, hopefully. I'm still, lucky. still alive. $4,500 to $1,500. Justin, your spin. Joker. True or false. In economics. Joker for 1000 All right. Get this true or false question correct. It'll give you $5,500. Enough to win the game. However... Eric gets one more spin. Miss it, and he jumps up to $2,500. For $1,000, Justin, here's your true or false statement. The grizzly is a brown bear that lives in North America. That is true. That is true. You are right. Uh, gets you $5,500 enough to win the game, but Champ gets one more spin at it. Mm -hmm. and unfortunately, mm -hmm. Erica, you know what you need. You need three jokers. Three jokers. Anything less, and Justin becomes our new champion. Wow. Come on. You shoot for this one. Joker. 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 Wow. He needed three jokers. He got three jokers. But. My Goodness. But I'm done for. You, you still have to answer the question correctly in order to win. So again, right. you get to pick with the Jokers, you get to pick any category you want. If you get the question correct, you automatically win the game. Miss it, and Justin becomes the new champion. Again, right. your categories are economics, entertainment, events, the arts, true or false, or general knowledge. Which one would you like? Entertainment. Entertainment. All right. Entertainment question. Here it is. Get it right. And you win the game on the spin of three jokers. Here's your question under entertainment, Eric. Which Rolling Stones rocker 
became the face of Louis Vuitton luggage, posing with a designer guitar case in 2008. Once again, which Rolling Stones rocker became the face of Louis Vuitton luggage, posing with a designer guitar case in 2008? For the game, name him. Mick Jagger? I'm sorry, it's not Mick Jagger. It's actually Keith Richards. Justin! <laughs> Justin, you are the new champion! Hi! Did you spin, Justin? <laughs> you won! <laughs> and that was that ball right there! Well, I had to spin it to get the end music to play. But, Justin, congratulations, sir. You are the new champion. You've got yourself $5,500, and you're going to be going on to face the devil in just a moment. Eric, you made a good run this time, but you're not leaving us here empty-handed again. You're still top of the leaderboard for the season so far. And this time, this run, you're taking home $267,848 cash and prizes. So congratulations, sir. Uh, well I was thinking of Keith Richards. I was thinking of Keith Richards. Yeah, that's all right. But don't worry. We're going to have you back for another show, I promise. All right? All right. Obviously, yes. All right, folks. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Give Justice second to catch his breath after almost losing oh that game of God. three jokers and we're gonna see how he does when he faces the devil we'll do that right after this here on the jokers i cannot believe it i did that three jokers on the last minute wow that was welcome back to the jokers wild here we are here with our new champion justin who just avoided the death trap of three jokers and won the game with five thousand five hundred dollars and now he's gonna take a shot to see if he can face the devil. Come on over, Justin. I can't look at I am still in shock. Relax now, you gotta beat the devil here. All right, welcome to the bonus round, Justin. Here's your chance to win, take home some big cash and prizes here. We got our prize board loaded up here with a bunch of different cash options with the Jokers and some great prizes up there for you to win. All I need you to do is give the bonus real spin. Let's see what you're playing for. All right. Here we go. Joker. Joker. And a dining room group oh, and boy. dinnerware. Each Joker's worth $10,000 in cash, plus the dining room and dinnerware. Gives you a prize package so far of $26,368, but you've earned yourself a bonus spin. All right. Ah, another great spin there. Another $20,000 in cash along with the queen bed sleep set. Makes your prize package now $49,466. And you've earned the right to play for a brand new car. Three reels up there. Which car you want to play for? Two. Behind two, we have the Chevy Cobalt worth $16,110 making your total prize package for this bonus round. $65,576 can be yours, but only if you face the devil. All right, Justin, you're playing for over $65,000 cash and prizes, and it can be yours, but only you've got to beat the devil first. Here's how this works. we got cash amounts up on the reels now, ranging from $250 all the way up to $2,000. Every time you spend, we're going to add cash to your pot. If you can get your pot over $10,000, you win that cash plus your prize package and walk away a big winner. Now, every time, There's also some jokers up there on the reels as well. Every time you spend a joker, it's going to give you $1,000 in bonus money. Guaranteed no matter what happens. If you can get three jokers, however, you win the joker's jackpot, which currently sits at $125,000. However, if Lucy the Devil appears in any of the three reels, you walk away with nothing other than the bonus cash that you've won. And of course, if you have a fear of the Devil, you could stop and take the money as you've won and walk away, Okay. So we've got we have right. potentially um a hundred eighty thousand dollars on the line, but I'm making a new roll as of right now because I checked with the uh, programmers, and it's actually really really hard to get three jokers on the very first spin. So now I'm going to increase your chances of walking away with a double jokers jackpot. 
you have two now you have two spins to do it in so if you can get joker 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 on any of your first two spins i'll double your winnings of the joker's jackpot which right now would give you a quarter of a million dollars all right all right so you got two chances at it good luck to you let's see if you can take home the big money Here we go. 2000 1000 and 1000 Gives you $4,000 to start. You are 6000 away from the win. What do you want to do? Stop or go? No. He's going for it, risking $4,000. Come on, Justin. All right. I get Joe Major Cut here. It's $250,000. That is correct. <laughs> One thousand Joker and a thousand. All right, so no double jackpot today. On this bonus now, but you got yourself six thousand dollars. You've got a thousand dollars in Joker bonus money. What do you want to do? Stop or go? You're four thousand away. Go. All right, risking five grand on this spin. Need four thousand dollars to win the game. All right. Joker, Joker, Joker! We got a Joker jackpot winner! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. No, they're not! Oh, my only regret. Where's the bug in the first two spins that were out of quarter of a million? Man, my only regret is that it's only two spins and not three. Three would have done it, but nonetheless, congratulations, sir. You just won the Joker's jackpot. Of one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars in cash. Congratulations! All right. Uh, we're gonna have to do some serious accounting on this one. One hundred twenty-five thousand dollars in cash money. We're gonna add in your six over sixty-five thousand dollars and more cash and prizes, plus the four thousand dollars in Joker bonus money you won. Added to your upfront game winnings, Justin, you have amassed in cash and prizes $200,076. Wow. Yes. Well done. Congratulations. All right. This is an epic game so far. That is an epic game indeed, and we and that is just from my account, my accounting here, and um, my math is not that good, but almost a hundred and a uh, hundred and seventy thousand of that is all cash. Yeah. What are you gonna do with all the money? Hmm. How are we going on vacation somewhere? Oh, that's a nice. That's a that's a nice vacation. You can go and stay for a while there for sure. Yeah. All right, we're gonna give him. We're gonna give our folks a minute to clean up some of the confetti here on set. Give him just a chance to count his money. We're gonna be back with more Joker's Wild. We'll do that right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> and welcome back here, to the Joker's Wild, our champion. Justin now won in one game, winning over two hundred thousand dollars here on the Memorial Day edition of the Joker's Wild. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of our folks who are normally con our contestants and watching the audience with us today are away from the studio, so we only have two contestants here. So, and the rare occasion this happens, and I normally don't do this, but it's a holiday, and we want to get a full episode in. So we're gonna let our we're gonna let our former champion Eric back up here for another shot to see if he can reclaim his crown. Hello again, everyone. All right, so gentlemen, you know how it is. This time, uh, Eric, you're gonna be spinning first as the challenger. Justin, you are seated champion. So good luck to both of you. Let's take a look at our categories that we will be using in this game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have places. Movies, pop quiz, true or false, science and technology, and finally we finish with some sports and hobbies. All right, let's unlock the reels for our players, 
And as always, the challenger goes first. That's you, Eric. Give it a spin. All right. Fourth and Hobbies, two Joker. And true or false? Sports and Hobbies for 1000 please. All right, Sports and Hobbies for $1,000. New game of the Joker's Wild here. We'll start off with a Sports and Hobbies question. Good luck to both of you once again. Here it is. All right, Eric, which internationally known road race is run each year on the third Monday in April? Again, which internationally known road race is run each year on the third Monday in April? For $1,000, name it. Road race, huh? Uh, Tour de Force? No, I'm sorry. It's not the Tour de Force. Justin, if you know, you can pick up 1000 Tour de France? No, it's not Tour de France. We're talking a road race, an actual running race, and I'm very surprised that you did not get this one, Eric. Uh, the road race we're talking about is the Boston Marathon. Boston oh, Marathon. My. Oh, boy. You threw me off with that one. Wow. <laughs> All right, no money up there. Uh, Justin, your spin. <laughs> Pop quiz, science and technology, and a joker. Uh, sports and hobbies. All right, going off the board with the Joker, going with sports and hobbies again for 500. Here is your sports and hobbies question. All right, Justin, about how many hours did the longest match ever between John Eisner and Nicholas Mahut in 2010 at Wimbledon last? Was it 8 hours, 11 hours, or 13 hours? Eight hours. Say that again. Eight hours. No, I'm sorry. It was not eight hours. Eric, you can pick up $500 here if you know it. 13? No, I'm sorry. It's not 13 You're either. Trained. It was 11 hours. Yes, Eisner won the first round matchup from Wimbledon back in 2010 in 11 hours and five minutes. The game took three days to play. Wow. Paw socks eat your out on that one. All right, no money yet on this one. And Eric, your spin. Joker, Joker, Joker! Oh no! He's done it again. Oh my goodness! And once again, three jokers has come up in favor of Eric here. Eric, once again, same scenario as the previous game. Get this question correct, it gives you $5,000 automatically, and you win the game. Now, once again, your categories are as follows. You have places, movies, true or false, pop quiz, science and technology, and sports and hobbies. <laughs> Let's try movies, please. Going with movies. Okay, movies is the category. Again, get the question is just for you only. So for the instant win and to regain your championship. Here comes your movie's question. Eric, in what 2009 film does Sandra Bullock turn a fellow lineman into her home? Again, in what 2009 film does Sandra Bullock take a future NFL lineman into her home? I think I know this one, The Blind Side. The Blind Side is correct. You win the game. Ah. Uh. That is, that is the case there. All right. So, with with a big win there, Eric regains the champion spot with $5,000. But, because that game ran so short, we're actually, going, we're actually going to make this a best of two out of three series with you guys. Oh. 
So you're going uh, so Justin, we're going to hold on to your two hundred thousand dollars. You're going to let that remain as your winnings, and we're going to see if you can carry that over. If you can win this best two out of three series, this is going to give you two wins onto your record, no matter what happens here. So you just sit tight for just a minute, and we're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, Eric's going to take his shot, see if he can win himself some cash prizes in the bonus round. We'll do that right after this. Here on the Joker's one. And we're back here at the Joker's Wild here with our new champion again, Eric. He's got himself $5,000. We're actually doing a special best two out of three series with, between Eric and Justin on this Memorial Day episode of the Joker's Wild. We got the bonus board already planned and ready set up for you here, Eric. So all you mm -hmm. do is give me a spin. Let's see what prizes you're going to be playing for. All right, let's get some good prizes. <laughs> We got a baby grand piano, a global electric motor car, and a Joker making your prize pick so far $27,913. You were in a bonus spin. Warm Island, Richard Porto Vallarta, and an entertainment wall unit at 50 inch projection TV. Your prize package totaling $44,382. It can be yours, but only if you can face the devil. All right, Eric, your chance here to win some on that nice prize package, $44,000 on the line. We've reset the Joker's jackpot back to $25,000. $50,000 if you can get three Jokers on any of your first two spins, all right? The Jokers have been working yeah. for you today, buddy, so let's see if you can do it again. Good luck to you. All right. All right, come on. Joker, $750,000. dollars $1,000 of guaranteed money. Stop We're going to go for it, Brandon. All right. Here we go. Risking $2,750. Spend $500. dollars $6,000. We're $4,000 away from the win. We want to be stuck with go. Let's go, Brandon. All right. Risking $6,000. $750. $500. $7,750. Have to do the hard way, man. You are 22 feet yeah. away from the win. Stop and go. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Risk it. I need 2250. Well, here we go. 2000. 2000. Hold on. Hold on. Joker, we got a winner. <laughs> Nicely done to you, sir. $11,750. Cat, cash on there. We're going to add in that prize package of over $44,000 plus the $2,000 of bonus money and add that to the $5,000 you won in the upfront game of the three Jokers. Gives you a one game cash of prizes totally $63,132. Congratulations. Very much. Well done by both of you. All right. It's one and one on this special episode of the Joker's Wild here. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to have the rubber match. See who's going to walk away as the champion. We'll do that right after this here on the Joker's Wild. And welcome back here to the Joker's Wild. A wild and crazy battle going on between Justin and Eric here today from the special Memorial Day episode of the Joker's Wild. So far this game, we've managed to give away over $250,000 in cash and prizes between the two of them. They've each won one game apiece. This game will be the rubber match to decide who will become the who will become the champion, and we'll go on to play on our next episode. So far, Justin's won himself $200,076 cash and prizes. Eric's got himself $63,132 after that win in the bonus round. So now let's time to see who's going to be playing. Let's take a look at your categories in this final game of the Joker's Wild today, and they are the following. We have places, entertainment, events, yards, science and technology, and sports and hobbies. Again, all these categories are from the Trivial Pursuit 2000s edition. So we got some Trivial Pursuit questions up for you this time around. And as always, the challenger starts, which this time it is actually Justin. 
Seeing in the challenger spot. So, Justin, you get first spin. All right, here we go. Come on, Jokers! Get it not unlocked for you. All right, try it again. Come on, Jokers! There we go. Darts, science and technology, and a Joker. Science and technology for 1,000. Science and technology for 1,000. Here comes your question. All right, Justin, how many Botox injections were given in 2013 to delete those fine lines and frowns? Is it A, 2.3 million, B, 6.3 million, or C, 10.3 million? 2.3 million. No, I'm sorry, it's not 2.3 million. Eric, you could get $1,000 if you know it. 6.3 million? 6.3 million is correct. You got it. That, that's a report according to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Eric strikes first in this rubber match with a thousand dollars to nothing. You're a spin. The arts, events, and sports and hobbies. Sports and hobbies for five hundred dollars, please. Sports and hobbies for five hundred dollars. Here comes your sports and hobbies question. All right, Eric, how many field goals did Tennessee Titans kicker Rob Brown make in one football game to set a new record in 2007? Is it A, 4, B, 6, or C, 8? 6. No, I'm sorry, it's not 6. Justin, for $500, you can steal it. 8? It was 8. He did it against the Houston Texans. You're right, you get the money. <laughs> 500 to 1,000. Justin, you're spin. Come on, Jokers. Places, entertainment, and places. $1,000 places, everyone. Places it is. Here comes your question. All right, Justin. Which country held a 2014 referendum to determine whether or not it should be independent from the United Kingdom? Again, which country held a 2014 referendum to determine whether or not it should be independent from the United Kingdom? For $1,000, name it. Hmm, can you repeat again? Yes, which country held a 2014 referendum to determine whether or not it should be independent from the rest of the United Kingdom. Ireland? No, I'm sorry, it's not Ireland. Justin, if you know it, you can take it for a thousand. Justin? You mean? I mean, yeah, Eric, sorry. Eric. Forgot y'all switched places yet. <laughs> England. No, I'm sorry, it's not England. Uh, it's actually... Mm -hmm. It's actually Scotland. Scotland. It was Scotland. Yeah, the no votes won by a margin of fifty-five point three percent. Isn't that May vote? Drew McIntyre kicked me in the face for that wrong answer. All <laughs> right, no answer, no score there. Score still five hundred to a thousand. And Eric, it's your spin. All right, guess what? Special technology, choker, and a triple. It's science, science technology for two thousand. That's the technology for $2,000. Here comes your question. All right, Eric. What colorful eight-legged creatures, nicknamed Sparkle Muffin and Skeletorus, hunt their prey rather than trap them? For $2,000, name them. Uh, spider? That spider is correct. Don't like them? Yeah, the new species of peacock spider was also discovered that tr likes to hunt its prey, too. It was discovered in Australia in 2015. All right, so Eric's in the lead with 3,000 to 500. Justin, you need a big spin here. I need a Joker. Joker. Joker! We've yeah. done it again! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The tables have turned. Three times in back-to-back -back games, we've spun three Jokers on the reels. All right, Justin, you know what this means. You pick a category, get the question right. It's $5,000. You 
You become the new champion. Gives you two wins added to your credit for the record, and you go back to face the devil. Again, what category would you like? It is, the categories are places, entertainment, events, the arts, science and technology, and sports and hobbies. I'm going to try events. Going with events. Okay. Events is the question or the category. All right, here it is, Justin, for $5,000 and the game. In a 2012 survey, 52% of old Americans said it's harder to figure out how to eat healthy foods than to do what task with an April 15th deadline. Again, in the 2012 survey, 52% of polled Americans said it's harder to figure out how to eat healthy foods than to do what task with an April 15th deadline. For $5,000 and the win, name it. Pay taxes? Taxes is correct. You win the game and the new champion. Yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Another $5,000 added to your winnings, and that brings you up to a whopping score of $205,076 in a moment. Well, Eric, you, you made a good effort to try to win this one, but you, you, made a, you made a great series out of this for him. You're not living here empty-handed. You've got the 267848 from your previous one that we started the day with. I'm going to tack on another $63,132 in cash and prizes for you, all right? All right, thank you very so we'll much. We'll definitely have you back in a future episode for sure. All right. All right, Justin has done it once again. He's still the champion, and we're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, he's going to have his final shot to see if he can face the devil to add more to his winning. We'll do that right after this. Joker's one. I'm enjoying this, though. You know I lost the Joker's Wild, Justin, our new champion here on the Joker's Wild. He's got himself two wins for this series here. He's passed over $205,000 this episode. He's ready to see if he can crack the bank and earn some more. Prize board's already loaded up for you, so whenever you're ready, give it a spin. Let's see what you're playing for. All right. Joker! 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 And a billiards table. That gives you $23,045 oh, cash and prices so far. And you've earned a bonus spin. <laughs> Joker. Joker. And an entertainment wall unit and 50 oh, oh. projection TV. Prize package now $50,293. And you've earned a chance to play for a brand new car. Three reels up there. Which one would you like to play for? Another one is best of three series, three. All right, behind three we have a Pontiac Sunfire worth seventeen thousand nine hundred eighty-five dollars, making your total price package this game sixty-eight thousand two hundred seventy-eight dollars. Cash or prizes can be yours, but only if you can face the devil. Sunfire is the name of my cat. All right, Justin, here's your chance to take home some, big, some more cash and prizes here. You've cleared the Joker's jackpot once. I want to see you do it again in your first two spins, because if you can do that, $60,000 to you in the jackpot. Otherwise, it's 30000 for three Jokers on any spin. We've managed to keep away from the devil the whole episode. Let's finish it out strong on this one. We don't want to see it, devil. Here we go. 1,500 and 2,000. Good start. $3,500 or $6,500 away. Stop or go. Go for it. All right, risk it. 3,500. Come on, Justin. Jokers. You're burning that pop up, devil. Here we go. 2,000. And there's Lucy. 
Uh, we gave it away too much money, and Lucy was like, can't have it anymore. I'm sorry. Mm. Well, unfortunately, that's a... Can't give you any money for this one because you didn't even spend a joker. But the good news is, though, you are the current champion, and you still have $205,076, and you'll definitely be joining us back on our next episode here of The Joker's Wild. All right. All right, did both of you guys enjoy yourselves here today? Mm. Yes. Yes, I did. That's a, we had fun. This well, was a good episode. Uh, thank you both for doing this and part of our two out of three series special. I only do these occasionally when I don't have enough people to have more than a couple contestants play. So it usually only happens like once a season, and it felt appropriate to do it on this Memorial Day episode. So, again, nice. thank you thank you guys for being here, and thank you guys out in YouTube land for watching. Remember, if you liked this video and liked everything that happened, make sure you click that like button down below and subscribe for more game, great game show action here on the Joker's Wild and here at MVG Productions. And don't forget to ring the bell. That way you never miss a video I drop, okay? And until we see Justin back here once again as the defending champion and the reels come spinning your way once again, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you for watching this episode of The Joker's Wild. We will see you all next time. This is Michael Gentry speaking for The Joker's Wild, an MVG production in association with the YouTube Games and Entertainment Team.